Well, welcome back to the iWealth Podcast. Uh, it's so great to have Gary Ginzel with us. Gary's an advisor with iWealth, and he's been a- around longer than me, smarter than me, better looking than me, and I'm going to get some smarts out of him today. So I just wanted uh, uh, Gary and I to have a conversation about variable annuities. You know, you and I have heard this forever. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll have people that come in and like, I don't want any annuities. Why? Because they're so expensive, like, mm-hmm. and they've... They, they have these surrender charges, and they, I mean, they've got all this stuff, mm-hmm. right? You mm-hmm. Google variable annuities, mm-hmm. you hear this stuff. However, you and I both know that there's another side of that, mm-hmm. and the side that where clients win. But to walk me through in, in, in kind of a client fashion where a variable annuity wins, like who's it designed for, mm-hmm. where does it win? Because I know that, that, that you believe in these, and mm-hmm. so do I. In mm-hmm. the right situation, it works. But mm-hmm. Kind of what's that situation look like? Because well, people just have that stereotype that's garbage. You know? Well, a couple things, just like cars. Annuities have changed a lot in the last, say, 20 years, okay? Mm-hmm. And, the, and also annuities um, are very misunderstood by clients, uh, financial experts, financial advisors. Most of them don't understand them. Uh, and the reason for that is a lot of them can't offer the annuities that we can offer because they're tied to either one company or, or the, the mothership says they can't offer these so they don't quite understand them. Um, so there's different types of annuities. Some are designed for death benefits. Okay. Some are designed for income benefits that can't run out of money at retirement. So give me an idea of a death benefit. What's that mean? Well, there's different products out there, but basically if you put in $100,000 and you're in the stock market, you're invested, uh, the stock market, let's say you don't have an annuity and it goes down 50% and you pass away, somebody gets half of what you put in. Yeah. Whereas an annuity, typically most of them give you at least your money back, even though you're in the market. Yeah. Uh, some capture the gains on the each quarter or on the anniversary date. So if it goes from 100000 to 123000 uh, they take a new picture, like the Polaroid camera, yeah. and that becomes the new base death benefit. So if the market goes backwards to 50000 they get 123000 So they at least get that high water mark yep. or whatever mm-hmm. that is. So that's a death benefit. Yep. What about the income side? Because, you know, there was pensions back in the day, and that yep. was like an annuity, right? It was a guaranteed income stream mm-hmm. and stuff like that. What does the income look like? like well, who does it fit? What's that look like? Well, how it fits is, you know, I have a lot of people that come in that say they have uh, 300000 sitting in a, a retirement plan, and if the market goes backwards 50%, and they're starting to draw income off of that of, say, 5%, they have to take a pay cut. Well, give me the names of people that want to take a pay cut. Okay? <laughs> right, none. So the annuity, what happens is, is the income would be based on the highest number, the either the 300000 or if the market does better, they get income based on that highest amount. And even if the stock market goes kaputs for 20 years or they live to be 120 years old, their income never goes away. It can only stay the same or go up. Sure. So if the market goes backwards, it stays the same. If the market goes up, they get a raise. Yeah. And lots of times also, it's for both lives. So if their husband passes away, the, the surviving spouse, he or she, yeah. gets the uh, income also for their lifetime. Yeah, which is huge, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like you said, people don't want to go backwards. So yeah. it's like creating yourself in your yeah. own pension. Yeah. The other thing is that there's mutual fund money left. If there's money left in that bucket, it mm-hmm. goes to your kids. Doesn't you disappear. Go pension yep. after you die, the pension's gone. Yep. And mm-hmm. these, if there's cash left, it goes mm-hmm. to your kids too. Correct. So, yep. so there. I mean, it's not for everybody. No. Nope. But there are situations where a variable annuity works really, really well, or annuity of some sort. Correct. And I, I hear this every, pretty much every day when people come in. They say two things. One is, how come I've never heard of this? Yeah. And number two, how can they do it? So I always explain that in detail to yeah. the clients. Okay? Yeah. How, let's get in that real quick. So how how can they do it? Like it sounds too good to be true. Mm-hmm. So I put in a hundred. It grows to one twenty three. Stock market takes it to fifty. I die. My family gets one twenty three. Mm-hmm. Or my money goes away, but my income is there for mm-hmm. life. Like what's the catch? So here's how they can do it. Uh, and also the companies that we typically deal with have been around since the eighteen hundreds have hundreds of billions or trillions of dollars. They paid profits during the depression. And the reason I'm explaining that is because they have to put money in reserves for you, okay, when you buy these products. And so what happens is they also charge you for this feature. They charge you an expense, it's called a rider, and they charge you for these guarantees, whether it's the death benefit or the uh, income benefit. And number one, it's cheap. Uh, Typically they're 
each company's different, around 1% extra. Um, but the marketing went on 1% in a day. And so they charge for that. And then also they have to put the money in reserve again, as I explained. So that, and then they also look at this, they're not gonna have the money for five years. Insurance companies or investment companies look at long-term, your life expectancy is say is 30 years. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have this money for 30 years. So they're gonna make some money over the next 30 years off of you. Sure, so, yeah. sure, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I like the way that you set that up and I like the way at the beginning you said like cars have changed, mm -hmm. these products have changed mm -hmm. too, right? The benefits, the features have changed. It's super important that you know what you're buying though mm -hmm. too. Because you and I know that there's 15 different ways to cook, the, mm -hmm. to cook this meal and our job is to sort out those 15 Correct. different ways, find yep. the right one for that situation mm -hmm. for those clients. Yep. And that's why gray beards matter and yep. having having 30 and 40 years experience mm -hmm. matter to be able to sort through, put the right product mm -hmm. in place for people. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, Thank Gary, you. for sharing that with me. And I hope you guys got some good insight today from Gary Ginzel. Yep. Have a great day. Great day.